Good morning, it's Chris Magnuson with Street View Vagabond and another Unboxing the World video in which you explore the world and use it as an opportunity for trip planning. Consider the last time you planned a trip. How did you do it? Um, did you start off with TripAdvisor or Lonely Planet, check out the hot uh, must-see places at the place uh, to go? It's not a bad place to start, but today I'm going to show you using Google Street View another opportunity to get on the ground, check it out on uh, the block by block approach and get a real sense of a place and see if it's a place you wanna go visit and check out and explore. Today I'm looking at Guangzhou, South Korea, um, which as you can see from the photos here on Trip Advisory, uh, it's beautiful in terms of its natural beauty. Um, and it's got a lot to offer here in terms of the May 18th National Cemetery, which was basically the birthplace of uh, uh, democratic movements in um, Korea back in 19, um, 1980 in terms of fighting author authoritarian government, um, which is something pretty cool. I, I didn't know um, the Guangzhou uprising um, was uh, was a very, very significant event in, in history and happening here in Guangzhou. Um, lots of great um, museums as well, art and culture, and also um, you know, you're going to think about where you're going to stay and where you're going to eat, right? So those are the places we're going to explore today using Google Street View and check that out. Um, but as I said before, Trip View and Lonely Plan, they pretty much have the same about half a dozen places to go check out. And those are worthwhile, right? Um, why wouldn't you want to go uh, to a temple where you can actually stay at this Buddhist temple outside the city? Um, very cool. I've put that high on my list of places to stay. The uh, Budu Gunsan National Park, excuse all of the pronunciations here. It's got this cool little funky tram plus amazing beauty as you saw at the first uh, shot that I just showed you. And now we're getting to some funky stuff. And this is what I like. The Hang Nim Dong History and Culture Village in Guangzhou um, looks like a really cool folksy street art um, uh, place that's got a penguin uh, mascot and some uh, uh, little prints tie in there too. Um, so this is what I like, and this is what I like trying to figure out whether or not the place actually has, uh, you know, that staying power uh, for me to, to, to visit, but also not necessarily um, actually, you know, physically visit. It's like, what can we learn about the world and what can we learn about um, the history and culture and perspective and approach to living um, that you get to see on the ground level here? We've got a lot of questions, right? I mean, check this out. Like, there's... There's lots of clocks on the wall, um, and this has turned into a really cool folk art um, exhibit um, that's open air, right? And it looks like it's recycling a lot of things. Definitely put it on my list uh, to go in there with the questions of uh, how did this start? Where did this get there? So, um, so that's one thing that I love, kind of finding funky places like this, trying to get a sense of, uh, you know, what what uh what precipitated this you know why did this start here um and so uh you know as i'm trying to plan a place to go to that's why i want to get on street view and check it out block by block um, one of the things that we also do is we try to find places to stay so checking out airbnb there is this uh basically kind of like youth hostel it's kind of got a cool setup um and uh, it's a good good setup here um, we also have the, this place that has like a miniature set up next to the bed so you can bring your, your pet dinosaur, which I thought was kind of funky. Um, and then this place has got um, highlighting the two dogs or the stuffed animals there, that just making sure that you know that if you bring your stuffed animals that you have a home. Um, as you can see, beautiful sights of the natural environment, um, fantastic mountains in the background. Um, this one's got a hot tub, which is highlighting um, with some fun times there too, penthouse um, at a fairly reasonably price, right? Um, I probably opt for staying at the temple just because it's so different. There's lots of opportunities in town there. Um, uh, one of the other things too is like trying to find places uh, to do uh, while you're in, in Guangzhou. We've got the World Cup Stadium um, and also, um, you know, Restaurant Guru. There's tons of places to, to eat. Um, a few months ago, I actually ordered a DJ, um, a burger, while I was checking out Diné in New Zealand. Um, and so that's going to be on my quest to, this week to see if I can get 
um, a DJ in uh, in Guangzhou to accept a, a gift of a, a delivered um, food. Right now, high on my list is potentially rice pizza because it has this like uh, meringue pizza, which I'm really curious about. But to be honest, on Street View, there is a place called Cafe Unpretty. And that's why I love doing this because there's funky places like this. I'm not sure if it still exists because this was taken back in 2017. So we'll see. But the radio station that I'm listening to that I'm super stoked about is a really unique station because it's a foreign language station in uh in Guangzhou, on GFN 98.7. And this station um is really cool because it says here's the foreign language network. So it's it's really got this split with lots of great English um that you know that I can understand and listen to and get a sense of what life's like in Guangzhou and lots of Korean as well. And the music also is a mixture of both and interviewing folks. Um so I'm gonna be posting a song of the a song of the day every day this week. Check it out. But today we're gonna dig right into um Cafe of oh, Cafe I'm pretty we're gonna dig right into Guangzhou using Street View. Um but I had to I say that this is my goal to see if I can get a DJ at Guangzhou Foreign Language Network to accept a a delivered delivered food item that we can chat about and see what life uh what it's like there. Or if I don't get on if I don't get a DJ to to, to accept that, then maybe I can find somebody else there and also try and see what Cafe on Pretty is all about. So we're gonna put 20 minutes on the clock. We're gonna dig right into it. And uh, this is that thing, you know, we've checked out the things on TripAdvisory and Lonely Planet. I know what some really cool places I wanna visit if I go to Guangzhou, picked out some places to stay, loving the hot tub, um, the mini the mini dinosaur um, dollhouse setup, <laughs> but also the monastery too. Um, you can see Guangzhou is here. So this is really gonna give us a chance to feel. So when you're doing the trip planning, um, getting onto the, the street view um, level gives you a sense of kind of what is life like really there. Okay, I see a park up here too. But we're going to just do this kind of block by block, right? As I said, I'm going to put 20 minutes on the clock because I want to get a sense of, of what life's like here. And also let's pay attention to timing. So this is January of 2018. Um, we've got overcast day and... Um, it's January, right? So the trees don't have any leaves. This is the northern hemisphere, so familiar with the seasons in the northern hemisphere. All right, let's check it out. What do we got here? So again, trip planning using street view back street view um, to get a sense of what is what is going on on the street level um, here in Guangzhou. Um, yeah, look at this. Is this a fashion place? Oh yeah, it's very colorful. I have this, uh, you know, signs that are red and yellow for some reason. Um, well, probably not for some reason. There's probably some uh, actual reason to it, but always to grab my attention. And uh, this one's not so much red and yellow, but it's red with some tinges of yellow. It looks like a. There's another one. This is interesting because all of these shops have no. Oh, it seems like it's for these. No ability to actually look at it. Am I looking at that? Stripper district or something? <laughs> None of the windows have uh, uh, You can't see in the window. But <laughs> we'll see about that. <laughs> this is the thing. So I need to talk to somebody before I go. Because I just like drop down and be like, hmm, red light district. Here we go. Baby of best. That is a great sign. I can't tell you. How awesome that is. Um, there's always something funny. There's always something cool to see. Um, and again, this is not to make fun of anybody's grasp of English in this day here in South Korea, but it's all about perspective, right? And uh, you know, don't you baby, right? Lots of people think that. Lots of people agree with that. Baby of best. It's pretty good. Sure, if I had a Korean shop, my uh, Korean sign up, that would be horrible. Uh, it's just like fresh fish. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to grab that sign. And uh, again, I know no Korean, 
just trying to get a sense of the feel, right? And so if I'm doing some trip planning and I'm trying to get a sense of kind of like, hey, is this a place that I want to go to? Or also like, you know, I'm determined to find out what's going on with Cafe on Pretty. Right? And I want to it. I would want to be able to see, like, if Cafe on Pretty was definitely around, I'd definitely go there. Got some dominoes. What's this guy doing? Smoking with a pen. Yeah. Also, send out good vibes, right? Get a sense of what are people doing? School, school. Oh, look at that. School looks. That is a cool name. That's like. It's like uh, get ready for school. And look like K-pop stars. School looks. I mean, that's a fantastic uh, logo. Um, because it's uh, it's almost like a palindrome the way they've done it. School looks. Oh man, check this out. We got balloons, we got inflatables. Look at that inflatable. It's a lot of inflatable stuff. People underestimate the power of inflatables. Like, looks like this is a coffee shop? Yeah. We got water cup coffee. I mean, we'll do that. I know this has got some cool things. Is this a telecom shop? All right. I'm going to say water cup coffee. That was a good. Good inflatables. There we go. Water cup coffee. This is the official Google car. It's interesting that they only did like a small, oh man, 007, what is this? They only did a small section of the city. But it's, oh no, what do we lose? Here's pencil case. All right. It's 007. All right, it's like a, maybe like a forever 21 approach, like just close. Cool. Oh, we got some buses backing up. Today is mural Monday, so I'm going to be keeping an eye out for any good murals. Um, oh man, it looks like school just let out. Check that out. Everybody's headed home in January. What is that here? What is this? Is this a doctor? I think it's a doctor. That's really cool. Got some street vendors. We got umbrellas. Cool. Why not? Oh, that's a billiards place. Look at that. All right. I'm getting a sense of phone booths. Yes. That is old school. Oh my gosh. Is this like... Yeah, is that a school uniform? That is... Wow, that is super formal. Is that a patch on the shoulder? I can't tell if it's a school uniform or... Definitely school's coming from over here. That's like... Extra. Extra, extra points. Okay, I'm going to run. got some windows being delivered here. All right. So, again, this is like another opportunity to do some trip, trip planning using Street View. Getting a sense of the lay of the land. Oh, am I stuck? There we go. I want to go down this road, but I'm just, it's not letting me go. Is it not? Oh, maybe I hit. Oh, you know what? I bet you I hit the. Uh... 
Hit the wall. Okay. I don't think I can go there. Okay. School bus. But it's also an opportunity to kind of just check out what is life like here. Get some questions answered before going. Look at that building. Oh, that circle. Or not. <laughs> or not. All right. What else we got here? Thailand. Okay. Oof. Nice stuff. Games. That is a that looks like a okay. Two things. This looks like a um grain silo. It's not a grain silo. An apartment building. Yes, it's an apartment building. And this looks like a sperm bank. <laughs> what is this? Oh, no, I can't. Okay. Best beef. Right. I guess we gotta check that out. All right, let's get the um, big apartment building. And then best beef. That's the question. Are they? Are they ooh, check out this video. Is it the best beef because it's been once chosen? I'm not sure. Just kidding. That might just be a character, like grand character, or just a logo. That's cool. Okay, we got here train crossing. Cool. Digging deep here. Oh, that looks like I'm just going to be up against the train tracks the whole time. Can we go down here? Oh, don't let me go down there. I gotta go this way. Okay. <clears throat> Once I started getting a plan, like a planned itinerary, then you know. What is this? Is that like a security guard shack? That's interesting. What is this? Security guard shack. I'm uh, making that up. Totally making that up. But it's worth a question. What if, let's go check it out. That looks like, oh my gosh, is that Kimchi right there? Oh, that's awesome. There's like those traditional clay pots for Kimchi. And maybe like uh, Kimchi pots. Security box. Maybe. Interesting. Oh, here's another one. Check it out. Ooh. I think this is what we're looking at here. Is this what we're looking at? Is that the country? Oh, look, there's another security shack. <laughs> so this is what I want to know. Why do we have. Is that like the, the kimchi guard? No. Ah, oh, look at that mountain in the background. That's cool. Oh, let's see what I'm making. 
Okay, we want to start to test this. You know, do we see a lot of that? Interesting. Cool. We got a lot of roof roof access, which is awesome. Loving the rooftop. What else we got in here? Oh, we got home goods, dishwashers. Let me get some exploration going on here. Oh, the roof it looks like it's oh, we've made this one sweet. Oh, where are we going? I don't want to go there. I want to stay up on this tree. What else we got? All right, cool. University of Oxford. Interesting. I just got it. Is that okay? Is, is that like a bus stop? I feel like a little bit of a tourist stop. Almost like he's posing for Google Street View. That's soil. Soil. That's actually interesting. Okay, what is this? We got the man and the woman symbol. This is a place with no windows. I got questions. Do oh you know what to do? I know what to do. We could do the um, translation app here. Let's check it out. I got it set up for Korean. Korean and there we go. Goods adult good story. <laughs> it's a good one. Yeah. Okay. I just got a sex shop. Nice adult good store. <laughs> oh, good. <laughs> so I think is it is it a uh, um uh the, the first place that I was saying I was like ah, is this like like there's no windows I'm trying to get a picture of the soil thing what is that. Oh, mercy, I'm okay, cool. All right, let's keep going. <laughs> okay, we got about five minutes left. Um, I know I have found Cafe on Pretty. I get a sense of what this place is. It's air conditioner, so that's cool. Oh, no, they had dead end. Come on. A little bit of a dead end. Um, oh, we got a heated floor. Yes. Oh my gosh, look at that. That's an inflatable. It's got the top. And you plug it in. Nice. Uh, let's, let's do this. It's all in the details, right? I used to um, teach. English, and I remember ultra scenes, hot water, looking at this. Oh, interesting patent. Uh, ultra scenes, hot water. Is it like this? Well, I shouldn't say. It. I don't know if it's a story. If that's what they're advertising there. Like hot water on heated floors. And so that's what it looks like. Okay, so as you said before, not your usual tour of a place, right? We got the tour spots, we know where we're going, we got places we want to stay, the monastery or the uh, Airbnbs are pretty cool. Um, but now, you know, doing street view, hopefully you see the value in it of finding, you know, adult stores <laughs> and floor heating shops. I mean, come on, this is, this is, this is how we do this, right? Uh, I haven't seen any murals yet today. Um, I'm not sure if uh, oh, it's going on. It looks kind of cool. Okay. It's like I'm not sure if a, a window covering counts <laughs> as a as a. Uh, 
especially my Eugene pharmaceutical company. <laughs> really, this is the beauty of this, really. It's like you're here and you're like, ooh, I think that was so interesting. And it's just, um, you know, pharmaceutical. Although, look at this one. You've got a magic carpet now. With, there's so much going on. Does that count as a meal? I think it might. <laughs> it's got to be. Right? Um, desperate times, y'all. I don't want to have a good meal for today. Look at this. This is good. This is good. All right. Yeah. Uh, what did he say? Uh, 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 Aladdin uniform. Aladdin uniform. Okay. And I think I also had another one, didn't I? Did I not get this one? Oh, this is the pharmaceutical <laughs> spot. You know. It's like that. So if you're, if you're, <laughs> um, a lot of billiards. All right. A lot of billiard halls. This is like the third billiard hall I've seen. We gotta take a photo of that. <clears throat> so if I was planning out a trip to Guangzhou, I definitely want to get to know the food a little bit more. Let's say before I know some of the hot spots, but now I think I'm going to go play some billiards, right? Now I'm going to kind of do some research on what's the billiard hall that's worth checking out. Oh, we got some vending machines. We got some external vending machines. What is for sale? Speaking of food, what kind of snacks can we get? Or is it just trade snacks? Oh no, I'm stuck. Ugh. My time is up. I, I can't even this right here. Okay, all right, we'll just go. It looks like there's a little tiny bit of a dead end there. I'm gonna pull up this one. What is this called? The Mangold Bridge. So Mangold Bridge. Cool. All right, I'm gonna have to use the uh, Google app, Trailblazer app. Check it out. Maybe that's the big takeaway from today. So you gotta use the Google Trailblazer app to get around. Uh, that looks pretty cool. Oh, I bet you this is an inflatable. That's what I've learned. There's inflatables in those little mini black trash cans. And those are a good place for a skate park. Okay, I feel like we're kind of okay. Time is up. All right, so this is this is what I do. I try to explore the world and find out a little bit more about what life is like around the world in places that I probably wouldn't have known existed before checking out on Google Street View. I grab a radio station, try to listen to some of the music and get a sense of what's going on there. And then I try to explore and just see what life is like there. This is an unedited video. So um, if you made it this far, you probably uh, left your browser open and are, are cooking or doing something different and that's cool. Um, but this is helping me grab some of that footage and get a sense of what life is like in places around the world. I, I produce these every Monday to kind of kick off the week. And the rest of the week is all going to be about Guangzhou, South Korea, in which I continue to post photos of things I'm learning about there. And then hopefully, fingers crossed, we can talk to somebody from there. Anyway, thanks for looking. Thanks for watching. And uh, hopefully you got something out of this. Uh, not sure what, but the world is big. It's huge. It's worth exploring. So keep it up. Keep exploring.